Somebody gave me a packet of seeds for bees, so I've got this roughish area of ground. I'm just gonna just give it a little bit of a gentle rake over. Pulled a few of the weeds away, but I haven't been that fussy. And I'm just gonna throw a few of the seeds onto the uh, ground there, and uh, then just rake them over slightly, rake them in slightly, just so the birds don't get too many of them. There you are, just uh, taking a few of the seeds, weed seeds out of here. Not many because I quite like the some of the weedy wildflowers. So what I tend to do is let the weeds come on this stage in the season. And then I just take out the ones that I don't want and leave the wildflowers I do want. It's the easiest way. And it makes for inexpensive gardening. Not necessarily the tidiest garden in many people's eyes, but uh, it's certainly worth having a, at least a bit of a wild area in your garden even if you have the formality which is equally fine uh, in the remainder of your garden. So just do a bit of reiki reiki. Don't really have to be too fussy. With uh, wildflower seeds uh, the poorer the soil is actually probably the better the plants will grow because they'll grow better flowers and probably a little bit less greenery so uh, you don't need to worry about uh, improving the soil or maybe if you've got a new garden and you don't know what to do with it for the first year maybe you can just sprinkle a few handfuls of uh, or packets of different wildflower seeds into the garden and uh, your neighbours will probably hate you um, but uh, at least then you've got a really really colourful garden for at least uh, one or two seasons so these are uh, packet of seeds for bees that uh, 38 degrees uh, kindly uh, donated um, but I think they've been there a while so they have been in the fridge most of the time so hopefully they'll still be okay but I'm going to throw them in and just uh, gently rake them in because uh, nature is quite clever seeds normally naturally just fall from the plants onto the soil and find their ways into little nooks and crannies birds get some and uh, the rest grow so uh, should be fine but i'll probably just give it a little bit of a rake over and maybe just put a little tiny bit of compost just on the top just literally for the purpose really of covering the seeds over to stop the birds stealing them all right here i go there's my handful of seeds quite a lot there actually for this little area but anyway And that's it, so just uh, sprinkled about, that was a bit uneven, but anyway, sure it'll be fine. Now I've got some of the uh, cornfield mixture which has been in the uh, fridge for probably a while. And anyway, I'm going to put those in as well, and it'll just add a little bit more interest. On the back of the packet conveniently says, best before 2026. I think that's what it says, so hopefully we're okay. I'm just going to open the little inner packet and sprinkle those around. So rippy rippy. It's a much more exciting collection of uh, seeds there. So we should have a good display hopefully. Them into the well of my hand again. Pick up a few. That's it. Now we just rake those over, rake them in. And hopefully, the birds won't get too many of them. They even spread them about a bit more evenly. As you see, I'm not being that fussy, and nature isn't really that fussy on how it distributes its uh, seeds. 
probably a lot cleverer than we realise, but it seems to generally work. These are the uh, sorts of uh, seed mixtures that I look out for if I'm wanting a wildflower garden. And as you see, I don't expect the prices have probably gone up this year, but some of them on these started off at about a pound or some three pounds, so they're not expensive and they do create a huge amount of colour. So do give it some consideration, particularly if you're establishing a new garden. You maybe don't know what to do with it for the first year or two. And uh, then you can just dig them up and get rid of them when you start on your formal gardening.